Well, good morning, everybody. It's Leanne Graff with today's live uh, free class I do every Tuesday uh, morning at 11 a.m. Central Time. So, um, yeah, I've got brand new stuff to share today. Uh, quite a bit of it. Um, some swaps I just received. Uh, plus, it's a new month. From, it's March, so there's new specials, new uh, kits to go. Uh, yeah, lots happening, but let's let's do prize patrol. Let's do that first. So last week I decided to give away a set of three cards, and ooh, that one's caught. What are we doing? Okay, all right. So we have a rocker card. We have a, basically it's it was featuring a celebration designer paper that we are done with now celebration is over so these were the the projects for sharing and this was the pro i'm sorry commenting and this was the project for sharing so the winners are oh you know what i have to get my laptop synced up here hold on i missed that whole step i was we were having trouble with uh facebook it just decided i couldn't log in so um so yeah it was frustrating we've been working for the last half hour um trying to get logged in as myself and hmm interesting now i can't seem to see my videos. I can't tell if I'm live or not. Isn't that weird? How do I find that live? Okay. All right. I think I'm on. See if I can see comments though. All right. We are we are here. I'm I'm on. I see comments. Yay. But yeah, we it, it was like say, reset your password. We did that. They emailed me. Then we didn't get a new. Oh, it was my husband had to help me. It was really frustrating. We were kind of nervous. There wasn't going to be. Oh, there was an outage. Oh, thank you for telling me that, uh, Ellen. I appreciate that. Wow. Okay. So <laughs> I have comments, and Ellen, you're going to be interested in this because you are a winner of. Let me see who Barb won the cards and Ellen won the stamp set. So hopefully you don't have the stamp set, Ellen, and Barb, you're going to have some samples in hand for card layouts. So yeah, thank you for commenting and sharing. I really appreciate that. Oh, good, thanks, Jean. I have, um, yeah, same here, uh, Carol. I could, I could get in, well, I could get in on my iPad and my phone, but not my desktop, and or in my laptop. We tried four different devices today. Two worked and two didn't. It was very weird, very weird. Thanks for sharing already, Carol. I appreciate that. So the prize for commenting today is a the Celebration Gems. They're called Opaque Faceted Gems. And actually, this is my, oh, there's there it is. I guess it is full. I didn't want to give a partial pack. But this is a partial pack of this designer paper. It's called One Horse Open Sleigh, and it recently retired from the uh, online exclusives. So this is my prize for sharing this video. So yeah, let me know you shared. You can share it in a group, on your Facebook page, in Messenger, but you have to let me know. And I have to tell you, in order to win a prize, you have to be able to set your Facebook page or um, account to receive messages. I Every now and then, somebody wins a prize and I can't message them because they don't accept messages. So I know we are de definitely dependent on technology, that's for sure. Very true. Okay, um, I do wanna put a little plug. If you're watching me on Facebook, be sure to click on the three little dots and follow me. Um, also, once you do that, go to your settings um, and click on see all because if you're not being notified that I'm going live, um, you're not getting all of my posts. So you have to go into Flower Bugs Ink Spot and Facebook and then click on the little dots and do uh, notification settings and click on see all. And later, if you're watching me on YouTube, which I always upload these to YouTube, um, you can follow me there too. So if you do follow, you will be notified when I post a new video. So if you joined me last week, this was the project that I did. 
It was a cute card box with six cards and envelopes. If you didn't layer them or make them fun folds, you may be able to fit eight cards um, if they weren't very well layered. Um, and then I made this one that day and I think it was Debbie, yeah, Debbie, didn't you tell me that you would attach the ribbon? And so I did that on this one. So I attached the ribbon on the back and up to the front and the side. So now, and then I tied the tag to the ribbon. So now all I have to do, or the recipient, whoever gets this, to hold it closed, put the little flap on the top and tie it and tie it into a bow. So much easier than having the loose, well, I don't know if it's easier because this one you can just slide off. So your choice, two different ways to do that. But if you were wondering where's the project sheet, it was posted yesterday on my blog. So flowerbook.net and you will get the project sheet with measurements for the box and all the cards with uh, directions for the cards and products that I used. Now you probably know these, uh, the designer paper and ribbon was part of our celebration. So that is over, sadly. I was so sad when celebration is over, but you can use any designer paper. So that is seen yesterday on my blog. I have a whole category on the right side labeled project sheets. You can download or print all of them. Yes, so okay. Let's do inventory status report. So now I don't list all of them. I list mm, maybe the popular items. Now there are a lot of cardstock. They're having shipping issues with cardstock and some inks. So there are quite a few that are out and with no date. We don't know when they're gonna be back. So a little frustrating, but these are some of the items that are not available right now. You know, I don't know if Meandering Meadows, that might be back. I didn't see that today, so I, I might have missed that and forgot to take it off from last week's. But anyway, that's the current uh, inventory status report that demonstrators get to see. Okay, um, I do want to mention my um, free tutorial this month features the lighter than air 6x6 designer paper and the, uh, I think it's the balloon, hot air balloon bundle. So the whole suite is, uh, I have I think eight or 10 cards on my free tutorial. My downline receives that every month and people who order from me will receive that. It has a lot of projects featuring this suite. And speaking of the suite, this is my free gift for orders over $55. It's called Rainbow Dots and they are in the spring catalog. I doubt if they'll carry over. So we will see the retiring list um, March 18th, maybe? That's the predicted date I've heard. So free gift for orders over 55. If you're placing an order, please use the host code. That helps me afford uh, the free items that I gift to people with orders. So, um, and then I'm gonna get to the online exclusives. So this is a little printout of the new and some carrying over online exclusives. So we have the, the zinnias, we have the, the coffee suite, which is called, uh, oh, I thought it was on the first page, but, hmm, did I forget to add that? I wonder if I didn't, but it's called Latte Love. So maybe I missed that on here, but anyway. There you can see, now some of these are carried over from before, because we have a lot of online exclusives that like our 3D embossing folders, our deco circles, elegant borders, those are from the past. And I think starting here, oh, we have a really good, this is one of my favorite things, and I haven't even used it yet because I haven't had a reason, but Comforting Thoughts uh, stamp set. Uh, wonderful, wonderful greetings. I don't have all the right words to say. I wish I could make this better. Oh, love that one. Healing, peace, rest. Some things, there's no good card for this. I hope this is a feeling better kind of day. I mean, there's just some wonderful things. These are online. You won't see this in, um, in any printed catalog. Okay, I'm gonna go through a few other things here. This one right here, Happy Little Things. That is, um, do I have my card for that? No, I bet I don't. I made a card 
and I don't have it, but it features the um, two little banner uh, dies. This is a, a bundle, so you can get you know, them separately, but this is a bundle. So lots of combination phrases in that one. Uh, oh, look at this. I think I showed this a few weeks ago, but um, the Zinnia bundle, are you sure it's the bundle or the suite? I saw it was uh, low inventory just a little bit ago, but I'll, I'll get to that in just a minute. Um, so this is reminiscent of some we've had years ago, these scripted greetings. So, so fun um, to have the little curvies on the, the cards. So the, the Zinnia, uh, Debbie mentioned that might be um, out of stock already. I, when I looked, it was low inventory. Now I will tell you that the uh, shiny sequins that I, I was going to use on my kit to go are unavailable until the end of April. So that's really disappointing that these are not available as part of the suite. Now the Zinnias, this is the Zinnia paper. There is a stamp set and dies, um, but the Zinnia paper, oof, duh, it's gorgeous. And it also has an embossing holder. Yeah, here we go. So this is, I don't remember the name of it. I haven't labeled it yet, but a Zinnia embossing folder. Here is the texture. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. All right, so that's the flowering zinnias in the Simply Zinnia uh, suite. Then, oh, um, and with that, I think this works with it. There is a set of three glimmer papers, olive, berry burst, and white. So this is a set of three, and that kind of works with these zinnia colors, as you can kind of see. Okay. All right. I have a lot to share. My friend Susie, I had sent her something, and she sent me a thank you card. This was one that she did with the suite. <coughs> so that, and I have more to share as well. In a little bit. Uh, hmm. I have lost something, but we'll just keep going. <laughs> okay, the uh, coffee suite, the Latte Love features, which I'm featuring today on my two cards and a little bonus project. It has dies and a stamp set to match. It also has a polka dot natural ribbon. 3 eighths inch ribbon, and some gems. These are called adhesive back swirl dots. Okay, and the paper, I did make a sample sheet of the paper. So that that's the sample of the designer paper. Like I said, I'll be featuring that. I'm gonna show you three of the cards in my uh, A Little Latte designer, or uh, kit to go. So here's one. So I made two different versions. It's a gift card, optional, with the little coffee cups cut from the uh, designer paper. I like to use, I like to just use greetings on my kits to go so everybody can make them. You don't need to have the stamp set to make my cards. Yes, I use the stamp set for a lot of my greetings, but you don't have to have it. Um, and I don't want people to have to have a coffee cup stamp so I, I purposely use just greetings for a lot of my cards. Now, all of these are fun folds. So there's a stand-up easel card using some designer papers in the kit. So remember, all of these things are die cut, cut for you, punched for you in the, but you, this one does require some designer or some embossing folders if you want to use them, not necessary. And here is another one that is an optional gift card. So the way it is folded, the cut is leaves about an inch and a half on the bottom. So as you can see, you can choose your designer papers, choose your greetings. Um, so that's three of the cards. I'm going to show you the other two on my projects today. So that's the latte, a little latte and latte love. So I'm going to share while I'm doing this, the other um, kit to go that is available. And it features the Zinnia paper. And some of these are fun folds as well, actually all but one of them. So this, isn't that just eye-catching and so pretty? So here I did use the Zinnia's uh, 
stamp set for a lot of these. So I love this one. I was inspired by my team member, Karen uh, Swap. This is like a double uh, opening. So isn't that cool? So that is um, the, one of the fun folds. There we go. And here is another one featuring Blackberry Bliss. There's a couple of fussy cut flowers on these projects. So, but they're, they're pretty easy to cut out. All right, and then we have this one, which features one whole panel. Actually, you can get eight of these cards from your sheet of designer paper. So this one is this type of fold. It's an accordion fold. Okay, so you don't have to do that. You can just leave it blank or stamp something on the inside as well. So that's how that card is, another fun fold. And then the last one is a very simple fun fold, but it uh, overlaps the panels, uses some of the ribbon. Now the ribbon that you get in this kit to go, you get a share of this, this dual, uh, ribbon duo from the annual catalog because the colors feed, uh, match so well. Now, I mentioned that the sequins are no longer available until like for almost two months. I, I use these on my cards. However, these are very close. So I'm substituting, they have the granny apple in there, the white or petal pink looking and the pink and the, the reddish um, color that is in the designer paper. So I'm substituting that for my kit to go. So remember, if you're interested in these, you can opt in on my tutorial site. They are both up, the, the latte uh, is up and the vinya is up. So you can opt in on these anytime, anytime. Okay, I do wanna show you one other thing from the online exclusives. And there's, there's so much on there that you might not know about. This is Highland Heather, Peacock, and Petal Pink designer, or er, glimmer paper and six sheets. So there, there's a lot. So I would highly encourage you to take a little gander to in our online exclusives um, so you don't miss anything that might go away. We just retired a designer paper. Things do go away every, every now and then. They will just, the online exclusives, how they put that is we will reorder some and we will not reorder some. So we don't know what's gonna be there and what is not. Um, I do wanna do a little plug for Paper Pumpkin. This, the last day to get the, this month's kit is September, I'm, where am I at? March 10th, Sunday. So that's the last time you can opt in. And I actually doubled, no, I tripled my order because it has an extra free stamp set. It features the Meandering Meadows designer paper, which I love, it's like a scenic paper. So yeah, I, I really, really want, uh, I'm excited about that one. Okay, so let me find my bundle. We're gonna get started now with the Latte Love. And now these projects and the project sheets will be up next week uh, for these cards. So I know um, some of you miss me posting my measurements on here, but this is just easier and you, you just need to follow me on my blog, honestly, if you want to get the project sheets and then you won't miss any. So, so that's what I recommend. But the first one is, oh, and I was gonna show how to score. Well, I'll kind of emulate it. Um, this is a book binding easel card. So if it, it uses one of the fussy cut uh, coffee cups to hold up the card. Isn't that cool? So, um, so yeah, it's super easy to make. Um, surprisingly, very easy to make. Okay, let's get started. So this is pecan pie. This is the, um, the card base. So when you're scoring, I guess I'll start on this side, you score at four and a quarter and five and a half. Then once you do that, you need to score. So this is how it opens, right? Your book binding. In fact, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue that. Okay. Now, right, oh, I know I forgot something, shoot. I was having so much trouble with Facebook. 
that um, that I did forget something. So I I needed to texture, but we're gonna we're gonna fix that. I have an idea instead of texturing. I'm gonna show you. This is a, just a tad short. It's kind of kind of weird that that's sh that I cut that a little short. So here it uses the little um, hearts or where they on the foam where you um, pull your um, oh, I don't know a stylus or a oh got a piece of hair on there through your your uh, foam or, or whipped cream. So that's what that one is, and this is coffee beans. Okay, so here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is textured with the painted texture embossing folder. So since I don't have that, I'm going to change it up and stamp on this because it needs a little something in my opinion. So we're going to use the, there's always, what does Jane, my, my team members say? There's no mistakes in rubber stamping. There's just a change of plans. So we're gonna have a change of plans here and stamp the um, splotchy splatter. Don't wanna be too predictable. So I'm trying to twist this as I go, and I don't need anything more than the outline. Okay, all right, and while I have that, I am going to, oh, I wonder if I forgot to, I did, I have my greeting right here, and I need that. So we will put it on another block, see if I can see through this, I'll just peel that off. Thanks so much. Okay. All right, and then I will put that back on, peel that one off, and I haven't cleaned it yet, so I'm going to put it on that side of my, my cleaner is not by me. Okay. All right, let's put this together. So this is bound where we have our fold. Always good to use your bone folder for your creases. And we have this, let's do that. Here. And this is Lost the Goon. I thought it went really well with this. And we're going to adhere that. So like I said, all the measurements will be on my blog. Oh, that looks good. I like the stamping on there. Okay, now for this, we know we have to fold this for it to be an easel, right? Okay, so now this will be adhered to only this triangle. Now I lay, I lay this flat so I can center this and um, Make sure it is centered on my corners and my fold. Okay, then I'm just going to, I love to do this, it's just so easy. Just a little trim. And let's see, did I have a piece of ribbon in this? Right here, so I have two pieces of ribbon. So I will use a glue dot to overlap them. that on there. Glue dots and ribbons are best friends. So you, um, yeah, you always want to use glue dots. I'm finding them here to attach ribbon. And we'll do that. And then that's going to go, I'm trying to look at my cups. I think I'll put it low. Yeah, I think I'm going to put it low on this one. Grab a couple dimensionals. Now when I add dimensionals and ribbon, what I'm going to do is not put the dimensionals on the ribbon. I don't want it any higher than it is already, but I do want to adhere that ribbon. So I added it there and now I know I need to keep that on my, oh, but hold on. Yeah, it's okay. 
You can still open it that way, but maybe not the other way. Yeah, it does mostly open, but this is how you want it to open. Probably should have waited on that just until I put this part in. Okay, we will add our white layer and I could stamp that, but I'm not going to this time. This will be a thank you card. But now this is how we hold our easel up, which has to be, in my opinion, it has to have dimensionals on it because that's what holds the easel up. So if you just put it flat, it will not be effective. And I'm gonna add a few because these are minis. I should have just grabbed a strip on the bottom. Would have been a little faster. Okay, so put it as low as you want or as high as you want for the card to stand up and be noticed. Now the last thing is to add our little swirl. And you could add one or two. Uh, I'm going to use the dark ones, I think, and maybe add two this time. You know, I always tend to get a little hair on mine for some reason. I think they're on the end of my, because um, this is in my tool caddy, and I think there's little fuzzes that end up being in there. But there's our card. Really cute, isn't it? Now these cards are part of my kit. This is one of the other fun folds that is in my kit to go, the little, little latte kit to go. So that's one of the projects today. And the second one is another fun fold. And this one I'm calling Latte Love Accordion Card. And I already have the project sheets done. We made these at my team meeting uh, last uh, last month, actually, in February. Okay, so this one features, I'm just going to scoot some things out of the way, Calypso Coral in three different patterns of the designer paper, a fussy cut coffee cup, the ribbon, some gems, and when you open it, it's a half accordion. The other card I made a, oh, about a month or two ago, filled the whole piece with a designer paper. This is a little more economical and you can get four cards from, no, four inches. You can get six cards from a 12 by 12 designer paper of this pattern. It might even be more, one, two, three, nope, six. Okay, so here are the, these, this is my last card in my kit to go. So as you can see, look at the designer paper. Um, I believe these are one and a half inch uh, pieces of designer paper. One and three quarter. One and three quarter. So um, you can do them either kitty wampus, patty wampus, however you want to say that, um, or not. So let's start. Um, this is the inside pieces. Here's the front. Now this is the Everyday Details dies. So this is the, the one we're going to, oh, have some little polka dots on there. And here is the accordion. I believe it pops out in the center. Now this is four by six. So it pops out here and then you want to make two valleys. So you could do this side too. In, in fact, that's what I did on here. One is the squirrel side and one is the little hearts side. So we have options with our double set of designer paper, but you do want to fold that, <coughs> excuse me. And the inside features uh, one white to stamp on and one pattern paper. So we're going to start by doing this first. So what I recommend you do is find the score line. So it's hard to see, but the score line's right there. I just wanna be double sure. It's, it's kind of hidden in a way. Fold that back, it's quite easy. And I just wanna be sure I remember. I haven't made this card for well, a month. So I add my adhesive, fold this, and it's pretty nice and even. 
And then when you open it, there you go. So right away, I am going to um, fold, and I can see it's buckling just a little bit. So I am going to reach in and smooth out that designer paper that just wasn't quite centered. Um, sometimes when you score on a scoring board or whatever, it it's like a hair off. So I just, I, what I call make it mind. So just use your bone folder, handy tool, and make it mine so it lays flat. Okay, now we're going to adhere the espresso layers to the edge. And it overlaps it just a little bit, covering up that end. And could stamp, but I'm not going to stamp because when I do thank you cards, I um, leave them plain so somebody can reuse them and send them themselves. So I do that a lot for my team members and uh, my customers. So this kind of finishes off the sides. So it's a complete uh, kind of a scene inside. There's a little coffee ring designer paper. It's such cool paper, honestly. Okay, now, where is my last piece of designer paper? <laughs> Uh-oh, did I shortchange myself on that? Hmm, I must have. I wonder what we can do. Hang on a minute. I might have another solution. I had another packet that was partially ready, but it doesn't look like. There we go. I found some. Well, we're going to just turn it over and use that piece, I think, because I think I ran out of the others. So I'm going to do, I like to do the boldest one kind of in the center. And I am going to tip them. I'm going to do the cattywampus look and start kind of in the middle so can can you handle cattywampus kitty wampus some people cannot a little hair on there okay all right, now we need to stamp on this. So we are going to stamp this cute little stamp that says you're the best part of my day. Right on this using early espresso ink. Okay, and then while I have those, we're gonna stamp on these inside pieces. I have a tip on adding that ribbon with this piece as well. So hang with me. It's, it's, it's funny what some of the tips that, um, that I share, some people have heard them before and other people, really, I've not seen that before. So yeah, there are all kinds of different um, things that you can learn as we go. Okay, done with the stamping. So I'm going to start with the inside and we're going to layer these. Now this is a one and a half and a one and three quarter inch circle punches. We have the one and three quarter in the online store and the two inch, but the one and a half is retired. So, so yeah, that, so then we're just going to add those to this little pop out. And these two greetings are from Circle Celebration. I'm gonna actually close that so I can, and I wanted it a little bit angled like that so it would um, hang out or look, I think it's meant to be a little bit angled. This one, I won't be as angled. Okay, I'm just gonna close that to seal. And then here, we're going to add our stitched, or I should say polka dot die cut. Now the ribbon. So you can do it in a uh, flag. This one 
you don't see the back, the dots on the back, so I think it works better to do it like this in a flag. So it depends on how you want your, how do I do it? I don't know if that mattered at all, but I'm gonna grab a mini glue, glue dot and put that together. Now I want a mini glue dot on the front. I'm gonna do two of them because this is going to be adhered to our coffee cup. And then I tear off what I what is extra. All right, so this is going to be, I don't know if it matters which way the handle is, but now that's attached there. So now when you're attaching this, I don't want any more uh, height on there, So, but I am going to press my ribbon on the glue dots in a couple spots. Now, I got them on there. To add to the card, I'm going to add dimensionals beside this. Because if you add the dimensional on your ribbon, you will add more height. So when you're mailing, the less height you can get, the better for your mailing process. Okay, we're just going to angle that a little bit. There, so you can see it's nice and smooth because my dimensionals are here, my ribbon is here. So it really does, you know, be, be mindful where you add your dimensionals. And if you're double layering your dimensional, and I'm gonna add this at an angle, I think. No, I'm not, I'm gonna do it straight. Um, if you're adding dimensionals to something that's already popped up, don't layer them on top of each other because then you are doubling your thickness. Okay, now where, here are my, my little, um, gems and I think we're gonna go with the white this time. Swirly white. Okay, there is our accordion surprise card. Isn't that cool? So again, these are from the card kit to go that you can get here. You can either get the tutorial, now remember whenever I talk about card kits, I have the tutorials as well. So it is, <laughs> you're fighting the urge to get it. Yeah, you know, if you have a lot of people who like coffee or I have a chai tea person, I don't drink coffee, but I love chai tea, whether it's cold or hot, that's my jam. And we, our family has a ton of tea drinkers. So that works as well because I actually add flavorings to my tea and sometimes I add milk to it or the creamers just to get that creamy effect. Okay, I have one more project that I'm going to share, um, that I'm not gonna make, but I wanna, I wanna show you, because the dies, this, this one kinda shows off some of the dies. So this is one we made at my team meeting, and this uses the decal uh, circle dies. There's the little, um, I'm drawing a blank on that. I wanna say extractor, but no, it's not a coffee. Oh, somebody bring, tell me what the name of that is. <laughs> I cannot remember what it is. It's crazy. Okay, but anyway, I wanted to show you some of the dies and how that's made. So here is a window sheet. Now, there's some debate from my team members on where the little spouty thing goes, whether it's the top or the bottom. Now, some people think that the curve should be at the top at the top and other people say no it should be at the bottom it actually matches this curve um, on the bottom here if you count this as uh, the coffee itself inside so um, yeah we're going to do this on that and I am going to do it my way where this little spout matches this side right here so there we go. So what you wanna do is just add adhesive to the long portions here. And I know it's really hard for you to see. Maybe I can put some the crumb cake card base here so you can see uh, the window sheet or maybe where we're working. So just some thin, and I always use my tip to spread my glue because then it doesn't leak out as much. If you just spread that a little bit, um, it won't leak out. 
Okay, now I'm gonna, oh boy, that is hard to see. Mm, needs to come over a little bit, oh boy. And window sheet and glue shows, shows everything. Okay, it's a little off, but that's okay. Now, that other piece will go on the bottom. On this one, I had my coffee on the top. Well, that doesn't make sense because you can't, coffee is not, it's inside the carafe or what it, French press, yes, French press, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I'm going to add adhesive to this and just, oh boy, that was a lot. Um, Cause I don't want it to show through. Yeah, on that card, I had my, um, is that gonna hold? Hopefully. I had the coffee below the end. This one, I'm having it even with it. I, or, well, it's not really even even, is it? Oh well, it's kind of above. But either way, it looks cool. So I just wanted to show you that. And these little cups right here have the, if I, didn't lose them. Oh, they're inside my little baggie. Here's one. These are part of the dies. So you will add for the top of the coffee. I mean, you could make it foamy and creamy and do it in white or vanilla, but that is how you do the coffee. And there is little, hmm, where's the set? little stamp, some coffee rings, the little beans. So on the background, we stamped that little splatter and the beans in crumb cake. Heat embossed that, put a little strip of um, the ribbon behind it. And it's a little bit of a different fold where the card base is a little smaller than the, uh, the crumb cake, is a little smaller than the back of the card. So it gives you a little framed effect. And this is a spoon cut out of, yeah, here it is, cut out of the swirly paper. Let me grab the paper. So cut out of this. So it's a little wooden, wooden spoon. Isn't that cute? And these are just stamped. There's the outline and here's the stamp. So it is such a cute um, kit. Yes, this kit is on my page, um, Nancy. It is on my, both, both the kits, the latte, and the zinnias are up and ready to go. Now they won't mail out until the end of, of uh, March, but they're orderable right now. So yes, you can order them. So yeah, I really like the inside too. You know, adding a little strip, just a little strip of your designer paper can finish that off. I just added a little strip of that one. And um, yeah, very cute cards. So if you just joined me, we made cards from the a little latte and latte love sweet. So right here. And they, these two are part of my kit to go that is available while supplies last. I ordered a bunch ahead of time. So I hope I they don't run out, but um, I, that's what I tend to do with some of my projects because I always worry they're going to run out. So anyway, that's the projects today. So don't forget to, if you need to order, there's my shop. Here's my host code. There is for the free project sheets. Oh, I'm sorry. This is where my my kits and uh, tutorials are. Flowerbookshop.com. This is my blog where the project sheets are, are at. So, yep, that's what we did today. We made this. If you want to go back and remember, the project sheets will be available on next week, Monday, Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. So these are all online exclusives that came out today for customers. So if you want to order anything, the sweets, except for the Zinnia Suite, because the shiny sequins are out of stock. I'm not sure about the Zinnia stamp set or dies. They could be gone as well. Hopefully not for long. Anyway, lots of inventory issues as usual. Um, it's just the way of, way of things these days. All right, thanks so much. And I hope I inspired you to create and share. All right. Have a good day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.